Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, the crazies are at work, and uh, unfortunately, they make uh, you can clearly see that these guys are, don't even give a damn about us. They make their own little game up there, so far away from our public opinion and anything that we might say or do. Just look at how they make decisions. We are out of it. We are just out of it. Not asked, not nothing. It's such a great example for people who are unaware of how this world functions, or at least part of it, uh, in order to, you know, this is like a school, uh, a school time here for, for them, like a class. Watch what's going on in the world and you learn direct experience. It's like a movie in front of you. What's going to happen? We're going to have the second Ukraine in Taiwan probably uh, next month. I think that's when uh, Nancy Pelosi, that uh, uh, Speaker of the House in the United States, uh, right, uh, will, uh, will visit, attempts to visit Taiwan, angering China and China making statements that I never heard uh, China making these kind of statements saying that their uh, military will not stay uh, idle. They will do something about it. They will act. They will react if Pelosi tries to visit Taiwan. And I said, how are they going to do it? Going to shoot it down? No. Are they going to ram it? No. Are they going to go in front of it and release some uh, uh, debris so they can uh, you know, make the pilot veer away? Are they going to tell him, hey, <clears throat> go, go down? He's not going to go down. Uh, he's not going to be rerouted. So what are they going to do? The only way you can stop it is shooting it down. The pilot will probably receive straight orders, don't do anything about it, just stay straight. Or it's just going to be a political stunt, say, well, I tried to go over there, but we turned around because we didn't want to escalate the situation for the benefit of the people. But I was a hero in, and I went over, uh, that's probably one other option. Now we find out the Pentagon is prepared to do something that I said they will do. The option is, and that's crazy, put fire fighter jets you know to a company to go with uh, with uh, to join the plane where pelosi will be but what are they going to do are they going to shoot the chinese are the chinese going to shoot them we get to the same point but also ships they send over there let me read this piece of whoo comes from the insider from uh, july 27 2022 but maybe by then pelosi goes you know what I mean? Or up and down, I don't know where she's going to go. Pentagon is prepared to protect Pelosi with fighter jets, plural, and ships, plural, if she visits Taiwan after China warned her not to uh, with military action. Report says, crazy, huh? House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, irrelevant in international arena, but for whatever reason, the Chinese uh, don't like this move, is 10 uh, is planning, you know, he's just uh, tentatively planning to travel. So she, she wants, but she's not sure to, to travel to Taiwan in August. China has repeatedly warned against, against the trip and threatened military action if it goes ahead. U.S. officials told Associate Press that uh, DOD, Department of Defense, I'm guessing, would protect uh, Pelosi with fighter jets and warships if she visits. The Pentagon is prepared to send military, uh, to send fighter jets and warships to protect House Speaker Nancy Pelosi if she visits Taiwan, the Associated Press reported Wednesday, amid China's threat to take military action if she goes. You know, so uh, she's not certain that she's gonna go there yet. So it's tentative that she's going. That I, is the first time when I hear that. So uh, I don't know, they're backing, uh, backing off or what. The Associated Press reported citing unnamed U.S. officials that the Department of Defense has been developing security plans to keep Pelosi safe should her trip to Taiwan in August go ahead. Uh, the officials said the plans likely involve sending fire jets, ships and surveillance assets to protect her on her flights to and out of Taiwan as well as on the ground. The report comes amid China's repeated warnings that Pelosi not visit the self-ruling island, which is seen with it sees as part of China. 
Senior Colonel Tan Kafei, a spokesperson for China's Defense Ministry, said on Tuesday that Pelosi's visit would, and I'm quoting, seriously harm China's sovereignty and territorial integrity and seriously damage the political foundation of China-US relations. Um, Tan also threatened military action, adding, adding, and I'm quoting, if the US insists on taking its own course, the Chinese military will never sit idly by, and uh, not gonna, never sit idly by, and it will definitely take strong actions to thwart any external forces interference. Pelosi was supposed to travel to Taiwan in April, but did not end up going because she tested positive for the coronavirus. I thought she was. Uh, she has. Uh, she has a tentative trip planned for August. The Financial Times reported, but it has not been confirmed. And I'm. Uh, I'm quoting. I don't ever discuss my travel plans. It's a matter of security. Pelosi told reporters on Wednesday. Oh my God. She feels so. Imp she's narcissistic. She thinks. I mean, she's an important person, maybe here, but international arena. What you know? Well, whatever. China has long claimed that uh, Taiwan, located around 100 miles away from its east coast, is part of the mainland, which China opposes. China has vocally opposed any recognition recognition of Taiwan as its own country. In recent months, the country has stepped up its rhetoric and military actions toward Taiwan with Chinese planes carrying out multiple training exercises near Taiwan's airspace. The US publicly showed support for Taiwan after Russia invaded Ukraine. It was showed always uh, for Taiwan. It's not only when Russia invaded. So what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I don't think she's gonna go. Now that I'm, it's tentative. It's not, uh, you know, set already. But if she goes, I think she's gonna go with, uh, she's gonna ha have the opportunity to have all this, uh, fighter jets around her and some military uh, ships and all that. And when they get over there, if the Chinese get in the air, what's going to happen next? And I have doubts that the Chinese military will get in the air. So everything is uh, possible. No, yeah, probably, probably not. So if they go with the military over there, I don't think the Chinese will get in the air and uh, maybe they're going in the air and go a little bit and show a force so they can show the people of China that they have balls. Um, but they can't do anything unless it's, they shoot it down, which they will not. Uh, and those two fighters or five fighters will be zero if those guys send 50. Correct? Correct. Unless uh, they come with a whole army to Taiwan and the Chinese are going to be, oh, okay, this is real. But sooner or later, Taiwan, it seems like, is going to be uh, um, getting in the direction of Ukraine crisis. And uh, we'll see. Yeah, maybe we're gonna have a second front, a uh, second front by the same um, organizers. Uh, you know, those guys. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.